Welcome back to today's video. I'm just going to be taking you along with me because everyone seems to love the day in the life vlogs and come along with me on the yard. And I need to prepare because I've got a show in the morning. So I'm just going to be doing the odd stuff, mucking out and getting ready for like normal day. It's going to be a little bit of twist, a bit of bathing, a bit of tack cleaning because we have got a show in the morning. I'm taking him to the Barley Land to do the 90 and the metre class, but we're only, we bought a a day ticket because you can buy a day ticket from bsja for five pounds now so you can compete in the day where you used to buy a ticket for the class and now they're doing day tickets so that's really good i will put the little link where i found that below my membership has run out so you don't want to renew it just before sunshine tour i've not done a lot of bsja classes anyway i think i've done like two or three so yeah so come along with me Good morning, boys. They decided to go in each other's stable last night, so I just let them do them. Did you have a nice sleep? Hey, Jack Jacks. Who's back, Jack? Oh, hello. Hey, hello. I'm just rugging Jack and Nebo because they're going out uh, for a bit because they were in all night last night. Chucking a rain sheet on as it's just stopped raining, but it's meant to split and rain a bit, so it's been a lightweight rain sheet on them. They don't get wet. Rain sheet on him. This rug looks fine on him. Just got to change Malegro's rug because he's currently got a little one on, but it doesn't fit him because I've had to put like the chest extenders on him, and this one's honey's, but she's in for the moment so i'm going to chuck this one on him right let's see if this one fits you no that one fits isn't it mister matt is like oh i like this rug can't wait to rip this rug off you uh mister no, thank you. I'm just going to muck out the pony stable and I'm going to put it in a little time lapse so it might look a little bit cool. Let's get mucking out. And while Fee was videoing <laughs> this, I was next door having a quick stable wee, so good job the camera didn't turn. But please don't deny or go, Ugh. everyone loves a stable wee. <laughs> in the morning so he's probably gonna have a bath tonight need him to kind of keep as clean as possible and nebo can have a lot of straw because he doesn't ruin it jack on the other hand you put loads of straw in and he just poos everywhere and he's so wet that you end up having to take all of it out hello <laughs> So honey's come in for the day and because Jack and Nebo was in last night, they've just had their beds mucked out in Nebo's bed. I'm gonna shoot to the town because we need to get some lunch for this afternoon because I don't think we're gonna have a lot of time. I've just put my little shoes on thinking I was just quickly driving these because these are the wellies and it felt all squidgy. And when I took it off, there's a dead snail there. Uh, I've just got back from the town had a nice sausage roll and got myself a drink. Honestly, I feel like I should be sponsored by Lucasades. The, the amount of Lucasades I have a day is really bad. 
I'm just addicted. I just love them. Right. So the plan is we've got a bit of a gap time. So I'm thinking, because I need to ride Nebo. I'm not going like, to do something massive with him, but I just need to get on him and stretch his legs. So I'm thinking even if I just take him on a little walk and trot up to the grain store, um, just to get him moving before his show in the morning. I could ride, pop him back out for 45 minutes while I clean my tack because I need to clean my tack for the morning because it's dirty, even though I did clean it the other day, but it's a little bit grimy. And then I'm going to bring him back in after I've cleaned my tack, bath him, and then I bought this pet safe hair dye. So it's got no harmful chemicals in it just to glide on the top of his mane because his mane's so sun bleached it looks bright orange it looks like i've sprayed halloween spray paint on his hair and he's so gorgeously like his coat's all black and it just looks horrendous but you can use it on your you know it's that creative grooming for your your dogs and stuff like that so try that out hopefully it gets rid of the orange and then uh yeah so give him a nice bath and i bought new shampoo and conditioner i think it's just the tresemme one so yeah gonna give him a nice bath and then it's show day tomorrow so i need to get everything prepared for the morning because it's an early start tomorrow i think it starts at nine but obviously we've got to get everyone out and the horse is sorted before we leave because i think it's around a 40 minute journey so we need to get them all out everything needs to be ready so everything needs to be prepared for the morning prepared prepared <laughs> yeah but that's what i need to do He's going to go get Nebo because he's probably not going to want to come in because he's been in all night. It is 10.30 now and he was out at around 7am. So he's been out quite a little while. Keep on. Does anyone have a type of call for their horse? I think mine's just like, keep on. don't know why, always done it. Very strange, but just stay with him. Just stick with me. Come on. to know what it's like owning a welsh pony this is what it's like they are hungry 24 7 and knock the box of treats over right let's quickly tack you up yourself and this has clips on it so it's absolutely amazing On Nebo now, as you can probably tell, this is what I mean about his mane. It's got really sun bleach and it's even broke off because of the sun. But it does need a little sort out. He needs a little makeover, so that's what we'll be doing tonight. Getting rid of all that sun bleach orange because it is dreadful. I'm not gonna take him on a long hack. I'm just gonna hack him up to the grain store and probably just give him a little trot across the stubble, which is like the freshly cut straw field. Come along with me. We're up on the freshly cut straw field now, and I'm just gonna give him a little trot all the way up to there and back, and probably just let him glide into a nice little canter, but just not too much. And then on the way back to the farm we go just got off the straw field he was such a good boy i'm just gonna give him a nice walk back to the farm now and chuck him out with jack just for half an hour while i wipe, up, wipe over his tack he's ignoring my hole in my droppers just to give his tack a little wipe over and get it put in the car and then i'm gonna bring him in for a little bit of a glow up <laughs> And then stop in and then spin. Go back out with your friends now. And I'm going to clean my tap. And then you can come back in for a pamper. Yeah. Start off by getting a bucket full of warm water. Oh, yeah, Sophia's bucket because she loves me. So. The kettles are now boiling. Sorry, Mum, but don't kill me. But 
I need something to wash the saddles with, so I'm going to just scrape a bit of this out and then dunk that in the bucket. Smells lovely as it looks. Well, to you that probably looks horrible, but to me that looks like it smells nice, so I hop off. Well, we're going to start off with the bridle. And I'm not doing a proper, like, I don't do taking the bridle apart and cleaning. I haven't got the time. I've got a pony to bar and have a glow up with. So, I will, like, take the bit off, obviously, and give the bit off. Pretty clean to me. See, look at my cleaning skills. Sparkling, that is. So then we've got one nice clean saddle. This is where the fun part begins. We've got Nebo in the wash bay area and we've got our little solarium hot water and we've got our 20 peas. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the pet safe hair dry and pop that on because I think it has to go on dry hair so let's dry that out. So the pet safe dye is on Bonnie's towel just to get rid of the greys and the orange. So now I use this Tresemme coconut shampoo. Put that in the bucket. is all washed. He's not exactly standing in the wash down area. Put some more coins in. Nigo, you're making me go poor. drying off under the solarium. Aren't your nibbles? Looks very nice and clean. Look at that clean little nose. Always looking at the camera. <laughs> I didn't want it to go in wet. Right, so I'm just going to put Oh, you're so clever. 
is this beautiful little pony? Hey, Nibbles, you look all shiny. The camera's like all like wet. So soft. Very nice and shiny, Nibai. And we use that creative grooming dye and I'm telling you, there is no orange in the sight, which is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Super soft. It's very nice and shiny. The back of the car is all packed with a saddle, bridle, this box which has my hat in, boots, his boots, jellies and whips and everything. Mum's just packing his lemme a cooler. So <laughs> oh, it is show day. Morning! Show starts at clear round first and show starts at 10. Yeah. And so we're just gonna go down. Get all our jobs done quick. Get nibber nubbers. He's already basically, isn't he? Always tired. Well, we hope to stay clean. Yeah, so do I, because he didn't have a rug on last night because it's too hot. How do you feel about me competing today? This yeah, week? I don't. Do you know what? As you've got older and <clears throat> you, t you take care of everything yourself now. I don't get nervous. I think years ago when you know you do when you're young and you're competing and you know being a mum like a horsey mum as other mums will know out there you're trying to work out their times get them motivated to hurry up come on we've got to get on tap the horse up you That's know stressful. being there with them warming up and it is you do you worry about them but as they get older like Fifi now she does everything herself. Yeah, I'm just a spectator, I like it. <laughs> Off we go.
Party. My hood is up because it's going to dribble on my head. New bows got his. Yeah, we're going to be real on here. So, no hidden light. Yeah. It was great. It was fab. It wasn't great. It wasn't fab. <laughs> so, we took him to Barley Lands and then. We, affiliated. Yeah, affiliated. So, it's all strided for. It's the seniors that strided for horses. Yeah, but the only trouble is, is I think you needed to do this to realise that you're pushing your limits with him yeah. at affiliated when it's striding for horses it's so it's just a shame because obviously he's only 14 too but fifi's coming up for 21 and she can't ride a pony yeah in, in a pony class anymore it wouldn't be fair yeah, so she so has to go into seniors and that's why we go unaffiliated um, so i thought I'd, because today was just a training show anyway because we're trying to get out to more venues before the championships for sunshine tour but I think you was really nervous. Yeah, I was nervous as well. Problem is, was I need a forward going canter, but I was. She needs a forward going canter forward, to meet the yeah. striding, but she kept taking a pull because obviously she was. I was more worried, worried about having a pull down, and, and then, then, that was and then if he's going to chip in, da, da, da. so I'm like pushing him out in his canter, out in the seat, and then as soon as I see a jump, I'm like, wait a minute, and then I'm like, oh. So he was I'm like, what do you want me to do? What we're doing? Am I going to chop in? Totally my fault on my behalf for the 90 size because that I know he could go in there and do that height. Well, he trains at 90, so he Yeah, wouldn't... so we're, we're not phased about that. It's more about the striding and then me and fixating it and everything like that. So then we, he was actually booked in to do the meter, but... I mean... Yeah, we decided... We were sort of in the back of our head that we wasn't really going to do it, but then we were like, we'll see how it goes in the warm up. So I kind of just used the warm up for training. Yeah, really. training really. Just obviously still and he jumped, jumped he meters. Jumped lovely, yeah. but I just said to her, be realistic, Fee. He, you know, you've got to get, you've got to get the stride right. Yeah. But you've also because he's small, you've got to go at a certain speed, and if you go yeah. at a certain speed, then he's going to jump flat. So the problem is with Nebo is I know I could take him into any height class, and he will try his hardest. But if he takes he's him to injure himself to get me out of it, he will. Yeah. And so he, I don't want to put that limits. pressure on him. So we withdrew from that, which yeah. I think is the right decision. Jumped and a few jumps in the warm up, which at that height, if he can, singly. He's and then Wednesday, brilliant. we're going to go um, to a different venue, yeah. back to unaffiliated, uh, where you haven't got the doubles in it. In the strides, Watch out. I think Construction it's on road ahead. too much pressure on him with the whole strides because he's only a little pony, and it's too much pressure on me because I am a dyslexia, as we all know, and I am worried about everything. So. Stride worrying about the course, it. worrying about how I'm riding Nebo and worrying about strides on top of it absolutely yeah. break, blows my brain. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that that was the issue. So we're on our way home. On our way home and then obviously I fell over the ramp just to top it off. So <laughs> I was putting the ramp it's up. It's just one of them days. At the same you know? time, she came flying at me to wipe his nose from his recovery mash and we sort of met in the middle and then she went over the ramp and of yeah. course she blamed me. But... Yeah, it wasn't really your Have fault. Have you hurt your hands? I, I did hurt my. So my yeah, arm. the high and lows of um, riding horses and it's a learning experience. Yeah, I learn. I learned that he, Nebo has his limits. Unaffiliated, he will go in and do it and jump his heart out. He will jump. keep jumping and jumping and jumping. He'll never stop for her, but he'll jump to get her, get himself and her out of trouble. And we don't want him getting injured, do we? No. And also, we've got the Sunshine Tour Championships coming up. So yeah. There's no point me trying to f frazzle my brain with affiliated when I'm not doing affiliated. So yeah, just keep back to basics and do the unaffiliated. We've got the championship coming up, so we are going to go out some more um, venues which are unaffiliated. Going to try a new venue, uh, hopefully on Wednesday, which is about an hour away. But it's a real. It's called oh, Felbridge. It's called Felbridge, but it's a nice big showground. So which would be sort of the same sort of. <coughs> Thing as it did, so we're going to go and do their unaffiliated on Wednesday. Yeah. So we'll let you all know. 
so i'm gonna leave this vlog here so thank you so much for watching today unfortunately wasn't our day but just got treated as a learning curve everyone has these days where it just doesn't go to plan and the ride it was a sack the rider day today and i hold my hands up it was me and i, I just got my nerve i let my nerves get the better of me and the whole affiliated pony going into a whole senior class is just blew my brain and yeah just got to take it to learning curve um and now know his limits uh with affiliated i'm just gonna stick with the unaffiliated with him and let him enjoy it make it enjoyable and not stressful so yeah so thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to give me a like comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram which is fifi's underscore welsh underscore ponies bye